day three in Hanoi and I'm <laughs> sending this video while sat on the toilet which is very fitting because this is where I spent quite a lot of last night um, and I will not say any more than that you can fill in the gaps I th I'm attributing it to some dodgy peanuts I had in the beer hoy place because they were a bit they didn't taste right and it's a lot of eating in a dirty environment with my hands so place for infection or bacteria sorry to spread and it's pretty much the only thing that i've eaten that steph hasn't so we were going to go to ho chi minh mausoleum and around that whole area today but we're changing our plans a bit and we're going to stay at the hotel for an hour and see how my bum hole feels um, and then just try and go somewhere a bit closer it's a bit, a bit rubbish but don't want to shit myself. Had a rest, drank some rehydration tablets and a lot of coconut water. And um, now we've come to Hawa Lao, I think that's how you pronounce it, Hawa Lao Prison, which was an old uh, disused prison. It's about 15 minutes from my hotel. And let's see what it's like. came out of the prison. It was really interesting. Um, a bit sad, really sad. It's basically a prison built by the French to put Vietnamese people in who didn't want to be ruled by the French. Um, and they were treated really badly. Um, I'm not really doing it justice. <laughs> um, and then, as a bit of an afterthought, after the French pissed off and the Americans came in, um, it was used as an American PO, uh, prisoner of war camp, but they were treated quite well by all accounts, but they are signs being written by Vietnamese people, so <laughs> take it maybe with a pinch of salt. Um, going to get some food now and then have a relax, have a nice relax. Get some water, puppet. Get some water, maybe more coconut water. Eat something commercial. Eat something commercial, possibly Western. Yeah. Um, I don't think my stomach can quite handle street food today. And then, yeah, see how it goes. Quite a famous church in Hanoi. Um, what's it called? The Notre Dame of... The Notre Dame of Hanoi or something. I'm guessing it was built by the French to look a bit like Notre Dame, but... Jesus is an England fan. Jesus is an England fan. Na, 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 na. <laughs> Come out for a spot to eat. Going to this Italian restaurant we were recommended to. Apparently it's a chain, um, but it's very Western. It's exactly what we wanted. Got a taxi out here because we are shattered and um, somebody messed up our Heilong Bay booking. So we're not actually going to Heilong Bay tomorrow. We're going the day after. Um, but the taxi's like Uber and it was like 80p for a 30 minute, uh, 25 minute ride. So can't really complain at that. Um, so yeah, looking forward to this. And then we're going to the water puppets afterwards, which will be really good, hopefully. Food. I've got pizza. I've got cheese. I've got ham and cheese. I've got a couple of cocktails. We are not living it like the authentic Vietnamese tonight. So we're at the water puppetry. We sat right at the front and I think we're both hoping that there's no audience participation or squirting. There's probably a better word for that. <laughs> um, but got no idea about what this is going to be like, so very intriguing. <laughs>
Hải Nhân Hà Ta phân hành lòng quân Xin giả ngu hoàn lại kiếm shit mental neither of us had much of a clue what was going on it was entertaining um, vaguely know that it's about a legend about the lake um, and there's a sword that gets dropped in there and I think someone has to save it uh, but I don't really know a lot more about that but it was really good really entertaining really good fun um, we've now come to a sky bar and we're drinking cocktails whilst looking over Hanoi and I think we'll have a couple more of these and then probably go back have an early night Try and get some rest. Walking home now. Thought I'd just do a little video. Uh, kind of what it's like to walk. Uh, terrifying. Ter yeah, terrifying. Um, you get used to it though. If you walk purposefully and with confidence, then you end up alright. Uh, today's ended up a lot better than I feared it might have done <laughs> uh, this morning. Um, yeah, heading home, trying to try and get a good night's sleep, headed tomorrow. Then uh, we're nice and refreshed ahead of our non Heilong Bay day. <laughs> See you tomorrow.